The two primary hazards associated with flammable and combustible liquids are explosion and fire. Safe handling and storage of flammable liquids requires the use of approved equipment and practices per OSHA standards. Employers are responsible for providing a work environment that allows the safe handling and storage of flammable and combustible liquids. Employees are responsible for the safe handling of storage of these liquids and completing the required training. Flashpoint means the minimum temperature at which a liquid gives off enough vapor to form an ignitable mixture. In general, the lower the flash point, the greater the hazard. Flammable and combustible liquids are classified primarily according to their flash point to indicate the danger they pose as a fire hazard. Flash point is directly related to a liquid's ability to generate vapor. Since it is the vapor of a liquid, not the liquid itself that burns, vapor generation becomes a primary factor in determining the fire hazard. Flammable liquids have flash points below 100 degrees Fahrenheit and are more dangerous than combustible liquids since they may be ignited at room temperature. Flammable liquids themselves will not burn but as the liquid evaporates, it gives off vapors that mix with the air to form dangerous gases that can be set off by a small spark. Gasoline, for example, evaporates at temperatures as low as 45 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. As the temperature rises, the rate of evaporation increases and more and more vapors are given off. Flammable vapors are usually heavier than air so they collect in the lowest areas they can reach. Without good ventilation to dissipate them, a small spark can set off a big disaster. Combustible liquids have flash points at or above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Although combustible liquids have higher flash points than flammable liquids, they can pose serious fire and or explosion hazards when heated. A good plan for safe use of flammable and combustible liquids contains at least these components. Control of ignition sources, proper storage, fire control, and safe handling. The employer and employees must take adequate precautions to prevent ignition of flammable vapors. Some sources of ignition include open flames, smoking, static electricity, cutting and welding, hot surfaces, electrical and mechanical sparks, and lightning. Static electricity can be generated by the contact and separation of dissimilar materials. For example, belts and pulleys, tires and the road, fluid flow through a pipe, agitation and mixing of fluids, and splash filling of flammable liquids. The main hazards are fire and explosion from sparks containing enough energy to ignite flammable vapors. Bonding or grounding of flammable liquid containers is necessary to prevent static electricity from causing a spark. Bonding is physically connecting two conductive objects together with a bond wire to eliminate a difference in static charge potential between them. You must provide a bond wire between containers during flammable liquid filling operations, unless a metallic path between them is otherwise present. Grounding eliminates a difference in static charge potential between conductive objects and the ground. Although bonding will eliminate a difference in potential between objects, it will not eliminate a difference in potential between these objects and earth, unless one of the objects is connected to earth with a ground wire. Always provide adequate ventilation to reduce the potential for ignition of flammable vapors. Identify incompatible chemicals by checking the material safety data sheets. Isolate and separate incompatible materials. Isolate by storing in another area or room or separate by storing in the same area or room, but apart from each other. 
Storage of flammable or combustible materials must not limit the use of exits, stairways, or areas normally used for the safe entrance or exit of people. Workers should use safety cans for storage and transfer of flammable or combustible materials when appropriate. A safety can is an approved container of not more than five gallons capacity with a spring closing lid and spout cover and safely relieves internal pressure when exposed to fire. A flame arrestor screen prevents fire flashback into can contents. It's made with a double wire mesh and the large surface area provides rapid dissipation of heat from fire so that vapor temperature inside the can remains below ignition point. Employers should use metal storage cabinets to store flammable and combustible liquids when appropriate. The cabinets must be labeled, flammable, keep fire away. The doors on metal cabinets must have a three-point lock, top, side, and bottom and the door sill must be raised at least two inches above the bottom of the cabinet. Suitable fire control devices, such as small hose or portable fire extinguishers, must be available where flammable or combustible liquids are stored. Open flames and smoking must not be permitted in these storage areas. Materials which react with water must not be stored in the same room with flammable or combustible liquids. Since there is a sizable risk whenever flammable liquids are handled, OSHA allows only four methods for transferring these materials. Through a closed piping system, from safety cans, by gravity through an approved self-closing safety faucet, or by means of a safety pump. Combustible waste and residue must be kept to a minimum, stored in covered metal receptacles, and disposed of daily. Here are some safe handling fundamentals. Carefully read the manufacturer's label on the flammable liquid container before storing or using it. Practice good housekeeping in flammable liquid storage areas. Only use approved metal safety containers or original manufacturer's container to store flammable liquids. Keep the containers closed when not in use and store away from exits or passageways. Use flammable liquids only where there is plenty of ventilation. Keep flammable liquids away from ignition sources such as open flames, sparks, smoking, cutting, or welding. Clean up spills immediately, then place the cleanup rags in a covered metal container. In the event of a spill or leak, first eliminate all sources of ignition, then stop the leak if possible. Contain the material, isolate the area, avoid direct contact with the material, and use appropriate fire control procedures. In summary, the two primary hazards associated with flammable and combustible liquids are explosion and fire. Safe handling and storage of flammable liquids requires the use of approved equipment and practices per OSHA standards. This has been a production of Federal Safety Solutions. For more information, please visit fssamerica.com.